We're here in the uh, Bugbook Historical Computer Museum, Microcomputer Museum in Floyd, and uh, we've got Bob uh, Rosenblum who came out from California to pick up a couple computers from our collection to add to his collection. I'll let him tell you about that. Okay, well, it's three very, very nice computers. One is a PDP-8, a straight 8. The other one's a PDP-8S, which is the one that I find uh, fascinating because it's a serial machine. It doesn't use parallel data pass. It uses serial data pass and serial ALUs. And then the, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a piece de resistance or not, but a seven to 800 pound analog computer before the, um, not, this one wasn't before in time because it really happened about the same time as PDP, you know, eights and stuff like that, but it, they came out, bef previous ones came out before in time, before digital computers and they would do continuous time analog simulation, flight simulation and mechanical uh, systems analysis and stuff like that. And it's really neat. And it, it just, they just look neat. I mean, it's full of patch boards and patch panels and knobs and, you know, things like that and little meters and switches. It looks like uh, uh, a digital computer on steroids at the time. So that's going to be the most fun thing. Of course, the problem is I'm driving 2,700 miles home with three computers in the back of the truck, and we got to get there safely. Well, we're, we're so sure delighted you came out here to pick them up and uh, visit us a little bit. And Floyd, we'll come out and see you in California sometime too, but it's pretty exciting to see these computers uh, move on to another person who's really excited about them. We're, we're real pleased with that. Yeah, they're going to a good home, and I hope to get them all running. I hope to get them all running sometime, you know. But this is a fantastic thing here. I mean, I just, a Mark 8, you don't see those every day. And this I've never seen anywhere else. I mean, I've read about it, but I've never seen one in life, uh, an Intellect 4. So, uh, of course, it looks just like the Intellect 8s, but it's not. It's a 4. It came a little earlier. And uh, a Sim 8, that's another thing that uh, I've seen parts of one of those before, but never the whole thing together like that. So there's a very nice... Uh, set of stuff here, starting from the development system days of Intel, going to the early uh, personal computer, you know, or consumer-based, hobbyist-based. I can't yeah, say consumer-based, hobbyist-based yeah. at the time. I don't think there was any consumer-based. This stuff was trying to get toward consumer-based in some ways, but uh, that was hobbyist. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Well, Bob, I want to say thank you so much for coming oh, out. Thank you very much. Enjoying our fantastic. work out here. And working with you. Thank you so much. Yep. Come visit. Okay. All of you come visit. Okay, we're going to do it. Good.